Hi everyone and welcome to the English Link podcast with me, Elle. Before we get into the second part of my chat with Cara of Leo Listening about the TV show Friends, let me show you the Friends shelf on Link. So you see it here, Learn English with Friends. It is loaded with episodes. If you would like to learn from one, you click Import. And you can see here the instructions on how to import YouTube videos into Link. The episode is hosted on YouTube. Make sure you have the Link browser extension. You click through, then it's as easy as clicking on the extension and import. And there you have it, your lesson with that episode that you chose of Friends. You can work through the words and phrases as you watch, turning all those blue highlighted words yellow. You can review what you've learned at the end of the lesson if you'd like. So if you're into friends, give it a try and learn from content of interest. Okay, let's get back to that interview with Kara. We could argue that, that, that there, is a, there is a lot of escapism and fantasy. Oh, yeah. um, it's fun to watch people living like this in New York. Um, yeah, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't. Ha it's not supposed to be a documentary. No, exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you know, maybe we should be a little bit uh, fairer to it. But I mean, I I'm a bit critical of the the ongoing appeal of of, of Friends. Oh, uh, okay. Because it's not as if like okay, if for for whatever reason Friends had been the high point of TV, if like. You know, Friends had been the peak, the pinnacle, the ultimate TV series, and everything since Friends was simply a reflection of the decline of TV, and everything before Friends was just not as good, I would understand. The thing is, I think TV has really gone on oh. to be a really incredible creative medium, you mm -hmm. know, since, you know, during the Friends period, and especially after the Friends period. So we've had some really incredible TV series, you know, in the 2000s, in the 2010s, um, things like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, The Walking Dead, like really mm -hmm. ambitious TV series that have really pushed the medium, like pushed it to, 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 to be more ambitious and really creative and really exciting. Like you want to stay in and watch certain shows on, on TV or stream them or whatever. That's obviously all developed since Friends. So the idea that people are still watching like a sitcom from the 90s with problematic, you know, fat, fat phobia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it just, I don't know, it's its as if, it's as if like the last 10 or 15 years didn't happen. I don't know, like, you know, am I alone in feeling this? I see what you mean. It's like, why latch on to, well, why? Let's discuss, why do we think people have latched on to friends for this very reason, this, for this yeah. purpose of, you know, entertainment and English learning? So and, and English learning, because it's not as if, it's not as if there aren't other sitcoms. I mean, mm -hmm. there are good reasons to watch a sitcom, you know, mm -hmm. um, it's it's short. Uh, the episodes are short. The 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 situations are very concrete and grounded in daily life, so they're easier to you know understand and make sense of. Um, and obviously, if you enjoy watching the show, then you'll get addicted. You'll want to keep watching it, and I think that is often the key um, in in language learning. We need things we can get addicted to, but mm. you know that that could be. A ton of other sitcoms either from that period or or or, or more recent good ones um, yeah good. <laughs> sub yeah subjective good, yeah even like but i mean i suppose there are quite a few bad ones as well but mm. yeah i mean this is what this is what i don't understand and, and occasionally when i see you know so there are repeats of friends on tv all the time right mm -hmm. i think in every single country there's repeats of friends all the time so sometimes i come across them in france and you know there's just all this canned laughter fake laughter in the background i'm like some of these jokes aren't even like they're not even that funny i mean mm -hmm. if you took away that laughter would people laugh so i don't know i'm confused <laughs> I'm, I'm confused about this i'm with you yeah i i guess i i was thinking about this um lately and i guess you're right it, it's a sitcom so people start to kind of feel like they know the characters they learn to love them mm. um they make mistakes people like seeing people that their low point makes mm. you know it's like everyday life stuff but yeah it is amazing to me too actually um i guess you know it's it's easy to follow there aren't too many mm. crazy um you know it's not it doesn't go too deep 
uh, <laughs> into anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, know. it's it's mm, it's not the goal of the program yeah. to touch on yeah. really deep subject. Yeah, yeah I mean, maybe it's just sheer ubiquity. So maybe like for a lot of people, this was mm. the first time that they saw an American TV series. So maybe they right. didn't see. I don't know, Cheers or Seinfeld or, you know, whatever yeah. um, other ones we can imagine. I'd rather watch Frasier. I mean... Yeah. That, yeah, you, that used I, to be on after Friends, I remember, when we watched it on Friday night. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah, 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 it was Friends and Frasier. And I was like, okay. I was a bit too young, I think, because I loved watch. I loved Friends and then Frasier would come on. I didn't get like half the jokes uh, yeah Frasier's like a bit yeah that's a bit more sophisticated <laughs> yeah. for sure okay so maybe that would alienate some people I don't know yeah but, um, yeah maybe yeah maybe yeah um, yeah it's a bit of a it's a bit of a but yeah I guess people like watching beautiful people in New York yes um you know um not often not doing very much you know the ones we talked about the ones that have these well-paid jobs they never seem to be at work they were always at the coffee shop yes like in the middle of the day right in the middle of the day like I know you know you could have some flexibility in your hours but still it seems a bit bit much like are they getting are they do they all happen to of course Rachel worked in the coffee shop do they all happen to live super Mm. close that they could just walk there it's a bit of a coincidence. I doubt it. Yeah, that was a bit of a. <laughs> yeah, but I mean that makes sense from a point of view of a sitcom because you yeah. have like these familiar places. And... Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm-hmm. it's a sitcom. It's not supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. Real life. For you sure. Know, completely real life, like. Mm-hmm. Um, so Leo, listening, your website and YouTube channel is all mm. about learning from movies and TV shows. Um, mm. what advice, what tips would you give anyone wanting to learn from a TV show like Friends or a, or a movie? Oh, yeah, or like anything Or anything else, else that um, or anything is else. out there. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, so I, I, I talked about the importance of like being motivated to watch it. So, mm. I, I mean, I think that's the, the starting point is thinking about, well, what, you know, what do you like to watch um, in your own language? At the same time, taking into account that, you know, it's probably going to be easier to follow a TV series or a movie if you've already seen it dubbed into your language. Uh, so that can also be a factor. Mm-hmm. But I think the, the main thing is to actually find something that you that you want to watch. So if you start watching Friends and you're like, why is this trash? <laughs> and you want to just turn yeah. it off, then, you know, there's no point in continuing. Like, there's nothing inherent about Friends that you wouldn't find I don't think in another sitcom, Mm -hmm. you know, if you want something that is fairly accessible with relatively short episodes and a very concrete, like day to day life context that could be found in lots of other sitcoms. And you, I'm sure you can find something else that you might like, like better. Um, So yeah, finding the motivation, finding something that is accessible and, and also potentially, you know, useful. So depending on your situation, you know, you might want to watch something a bit more specialised mm. because some TV series are to do with like particular professions. So like um, medical dramas are so popular. Mm. Um, Grey's so that Anatomy. Could be interesting if you, yeah, for example, I've been going for years. Oh, yeah. I know people who've learned English with, with that, who've been following that. I mean, that's oh. especially interesting if you're like a healthcare worker, but it could also just be interesting if you, if you like that kind of hospital drama. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they exist in other languages. Um, and there's also, you know, sometimes there are also TV series that are to do with, um, yeah, other professions. I watch a lot of property programs dubbed into French. Okay. So, um, like Property Brothers in French, it's called Les Frères en Affaires. They're they're Canadian, aren't they? Amazing. Drew and, um, I've heard, yeah, I've heard of it. Jonathan. I've never seen it, but I I do know of them and that they are Canadian. So I like know a lot of words to do with like home renovations and building, which isn't actually really that useful. (laughs) <laughs> to me but I mean it's, it's always good it's always good to expand your vocabulary isn't it so exactly. um yeah that's one tip is kind of you know yeah what you're interested in what you need trying to find a balance between those things while also watching something accessible um and then yeah kind of getting getting into it is important so I, I, that's what I like about tv series is it kind of forces you to get into the habit of watching it regularly yeah whereas a movie is more of a one-off mm. so I mean that's why I'm, I have a, a movie club so that we we kind of go into a bit more depth with watching a movie and you're not just kind of watching it once and then you never do anything with it like you never talk about it or you never um discuss it with other people so I think that can also be really interesting is finding people to talk to about what you're watching 
um, and then that kind of helps you actually implement what you're what you're learning. So you might be picking up some new words and expressions from watching TV series episodes or movies, but then you need to actually apply them and use them. And so mm. the, the most logical way to do that is, is then to talk about what you've watched. So, I mean, that could be with a, a teacher, if your teacher is cool with um, letting you discuss what you've watched in class, or you could just find other people who like the... Um, the movie or the TV series. So I'm sure for a series like Friends, I mean, there must be endless forums yes, I'm sure. online where people are still talking about it or like sharing Friends memes or whatever it yeah. is. So um, it's true that, yeah, the more popular a series is, probably the easier it is to find those places where people are, are discussing it. But even like in the comments on YouTube, that can be a really um, fruitful a place of fruitful discussions like you can, people leave really interesting comments about movies and tv shows like from um i use a lot of movie clips in my work and so under the clips that people are having really cool discussions and and have really interesting insights about mm-hmm. um you know different movies and different tv shows so um yeah it's, it's finding that place where you can you can apply what you're what you're learning when you're watching Mm-hmm. practically and then also kind of um you know using using movies and tv series as a tool to kind of improve different skills that's also possible but i i like doing that with sort of clips from movies and tv series and really going in deep and um you know working on your listening skills working on specific lines of dialogue listening to them repeating them um if you've got no one to talk to you can even just you know record yourself talking about Mm. maybe an episode you've just watched or a movie you've watched you could do a summary of it you know um you could write a review of it like there's Mm. it's it's trying to exploit something you know really from all possible angles so that you're working on so you're you're not just passively watching um the tv series or movie but you're really you know working on all those different language skills at the same time while using something that you want to watch anyway so excellent yeah those are some fantastic tips and I will we'll leave of course the links to uh, your website and YouTube channel so people can go explore and and um, see all of the, cool. the tips that you have for learning English using movies and TV shows um, just before we go uh, what mm. TV shows and movies are you loving lately Oh yeah, good good question. Um, with my own students this year, we've watched a lot of movies by the Coen Brothers, oh. and that has been really cool because they are such amazing um, directors, and their movies have so many themes, so many layers, um, and they have a really fascinating creative process. So yeah, it's been really good to watch um, some classics by them, like The Big Lebowski or Barton mm. Fink or Fargo. Um, and then in terms of T, oh yeah, such a great, that's my favorite by them. (laughs) Really, really awesome movie. And then in terms of TV series, that sort of the only one I do always watch Stranger Things when Mm. it comes out. I really enjoy that. Me too. Um, I still haven't finished actually the the, the latest season, which is very late in the day to to say that because, um, yeah, it it was released a while ago now. But um, otherwise, the 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 other TV series that I'm 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 following pretty seriously is um, what we do in the shadows, which is. the yeah, movie. Do you know it? I know. I, so, I yeah, so there the was show. a movie. The movie is good, but then they turned the movie into a, a kind of ongoing uh, mockumentary. So I it's didn't like a that. fake documentary. Yeah. So it's set in in the United States, actually, the, the, the documentary, as opposed to New Zealand, which was where the film was mm. made because mm-hmm. the director is from from New Zealand. Yeah, so the it's about these vampires living in Staten Island in this big house and um yeah, it's like fake documentary style and it's really silly, but there were, there were actually a couple of like themes running through it which are um quite clever that kind of hold it together, but each episode is just so it's just so silly like because obviously the vampires have a hard time you know, living in the in the modern in the modern world mm-hmm. and um yeah so it's 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 just really funny to uh it's just really really well done and uh, hilarious and there's some very funny there's some good accents in it as well so 
Excellent. Um, I'm going to have to find that because yeah. I did not know. I love the the film. That was so funny. Where was it? Werewolf, oh, think... Werewolves, not swearwolves. I said that all the time. <laughs> yeah, there's some ongoing vampire werewolf um, tension yeah, in Staten it's... Island. Oh, but, okay. I have to watch this. Yeah, but no, that's, I think the series is funnier than the, the movie. Honestly. Oh, really? Oh, I'm definitely going to mm, watch this. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that tip. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, Cara, <laughs> listen, I feel like we could go on forever talking about forever. movies, <laughs> TV shows. Yeah, I'm a big time... Um, film nerd and tv i watch too much tv let's just say but <laughs> but we'll <laughs> stop there and um like i said i'll pop the links to your uh, website and youtube channel in the description so everyone uh go check those out check out cara's page and youtube channel and cara thank you so so much for joining me today you're welcome thank you for having me oh, it's a pleasure bye